Okay, hi guys. Um, great day. Number three success story today. So it's exciting. Um, I'll post them online so you can see. And um, the lady who just got a job just now, I, uh, it was important actually. I really wanted to take my time to uh, kind of speak to her because she was overly excited and uh, um, overly uh, joyful about it. And uh, I asked her, I said, three words, three words that you want to give to, um, three, three words that describe how you feel right now. And also as a word of advice to everyone else out there. And then she said, uh, first of all, what did she get? She just secured a digital business analyst role. That's what she just secured. Um, once again, I'll post the success story right after this so that you can actually see it. Uh, remember that we always cover the names for GDPR reasons. In fact, she specifically said that do not put my name up on all social media platforms. For GDPR reasons, data protection reasons, we have to cover their names. People just don't want people knowing who they are. But that's fine. So, um, three words. And she said, um, hard work. I'm trying to remember it. Hard work, persistency, uh, and trust in God. I totally agree with all of those. And I decided to kind of uh, ex get her to expand on that. And this is, this is what she said. In regards to hard work, she said, sorry, I have to look at it. I, have to look, I wrote it down, so I have to look at it again. So persistent, never said no. Um, okay, sorry, I, I had to actually go and look at it because I wrote it down. So hard work. Um, and what did she mean by that? She said, as long as you are committed and focused and know exactly when to push and when not to push, you will be fine. Now, she joined the platform. No, no I'm going to go to that one later because that one is a, uh, remember she said, uh, ad work, persistence and trust in God. So the trust in God one I will use. Uh, the information on trust in God I'll use later. So she said, as long as you keep pushing, you know, and just understand that Rome wasn't built in a day and you have to get your hands dirty, uh, then you will succeed. So that was hard work. Then she said persistence. She said, I had many, many, uh, I applied for many, many jobs and I came to learn that rejection was direction. Every time I was rejected, I learned from it and I, it redirected me to what I needed to do and how I needed to improve, which I felt was quite powerful. Then the last one was trusting God. She said, the way she got her success story, it can be only be God. And this is what I was going to say earlier that I paused on. Says she joined the, the platform July 2017, July the 4th, 2017. Today is July, uh, sorry, she now got the job July 20, uh, the 4th, 2018. So a year later. And um, she said, it can only be God because when she looked at the job specification, she knew that, she told herself, she said, this is too big for me. And I can't, there's no way I can get this job. But something inside of her told her to apply for it. So she applied for it. Now, there's a time for everything under the sun. Time and chance happens to us all. When your time comes, make sure you're prepared and ready to take on the opportunity presented to you. Um, everybody wants that big opportunity. Everybody say, no, I want an opportunity. All I need is an opportunity. But while you're waiting for that opportunity, what are you doing to prepare for that opportunity? Which is obviously what she was doing in the time she was on the platform that whole year. Now, she saw a role and felt that that role was too big for her. But in that period, what God was doing was preparing her, equipping her, building her expertise, helping her to discover what she should focus on, developing her expertise, and then deploying her out there. And then exactly a year later, she's gotten a job. And um, she said, it can only be God. And she said something which I felt was really powerful, and I want to share that with you guys. She said, when it seems impossible, it is no longer your problem. And isn't that amazing? Because if it's possible, then you don't need God for it. But when it seems impossible, it is no longer your problem. That problem now has, you have to hand it over to God and trust God. So that's why she said, trust God. She said she trusted God and um, faith without works is dead. She did the work and then kicked in her faith to get the impossible to her. And um, I just want to encourage every single person when you read her success story, be inspired by it and then ask yourself, time is the only commodity you cannot get a refund on. 
Time is the only commodity that basically you almost cannot put a value on. Why? Because if you don't have time, everything else has no value. So the only thing that has value is time. But what is that value? It's unquantifiable. Time is life. And you can't get a refund on it. In fact, time doesn't even exist. It is our own way of understanding how to explain the fact that we continue to exist within a time frame. And we call it time. So you have to sit down and say to yourself, what I am doing today, what I am doing tomorrow, what I am doing for the next one month, for the next two months, for the next three months, will it make me relevant for the next one year? And I'll repeat that again. What I am doing now for the next three months, will it make me relevant for the next one year? This lovely lady joined the platform July the 4th, 2017. She understood that time was the only commodity she couldn't get a refund on and what she did in that time would define her relevance and her value and her net worth in a year's time and she did what she had to do she got her hands dirty she built the expertise she built the experience and today she is relevant in relation to the industry she's focused on that is now going to be putting money into her pocket she's over the moon she is what we define as a career insights success story she is who we call a DBT alumni, Digital Bananas Technology alumni. The same story that every single person longs to share, a success story. Well, creating a success story takes time. And what you do in that time determines what kind of success story you will get. And leaving it like this, I'm going to share the success story now. It'll take me a bit of time because I have to cover the names up and everything. But, so just come back on this page and look at it. But once you read that success story, and if you, tell, if you find yourself asking yourself questions and telling yourself that, you know what, enough is enough, or telling yourself that I deserve to have a story worth telling, then what matters is what are you doing with your time now? Because it will determine your relevance tomorrow. And I'm going to leave it like this, um, and great. Uh, Igwe, 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 I can see you on there. Is this my Igwe candidate, uh, success story candidate, uh, candidate, who is now a mentor, who is now also helping other people to secure their success stories? That's one of the great things about our platform. It's all about paying it forward. Someone secures a job, next thing you know, they're helping someone else to secure a job, which is really good. So uh, if that's you, Igwe, shout out, because I know you have a success story from me. You mentioned that today. And I see Olin, Olin, uh, alumni, long time no see. Okay, so hi to all of you. So listen, I'll catch up with you guys later on. I'll share the success story very soon. Bye-bye.